I was wondering if you guys have security cameras. No. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, hold on. Quick question. Do you guys have security cameras by chance? Nope, sure don't. No? Okay. You gotta call the non-emergency number. Uh, I gotta call the non-emergency number. Hey Siri, I'm calling the non-emergency number because this isn't technically, I mean, somebody's life could be in danger and obviously this is not that, but it's still worth calling the police. Lisa Fire, this is Lisa. How can I help you? So I have like two ducks that I keep as pets in my backyard and like last night somebody came into my backyard and I guess took one of the ducks. We have part of our fence down right now due to construction. It's a Pekin duck, so they're like... And does it have any sort of tag on its leg or anything like that? It does not. And your name? Brunton Zeckley. And was she in a cage? Interesting. Yeah, okay. I know, right? All right, I'm so sorry. Um, no, it's all good. Yeah, but by any means, if, uh, any, if anybody calls, we will definitely get in touch with you, and I will make sure animal control knows as well, okay? I appreciate it. Thank now, you very much. can she fly, or are her wings clipped? Her wings are clipped. Okay, I've got to email them what I'm about to show you guys so they can take a look at it. This is more of an animal control type thing, um, but y'all are going to be blown away by what I found last night. Oh my god! Dumb! Every morning, I go outside, I play with my ducks. I sit down, I put them on my lap, and I play with them and feed them. Because that's like the nice thing to do, you know? Um, this morning I came outside, Brownie was, Brownie was in the outside, I was like, okay, Penelope's you know, like on the inside of the cage. Open the inside, Penelope's not there, and my heart just dropped. I just had a, I just had a conversation with the police, and I told them, basically, that I have this footage of somebody coming into my backyard last night and taking my duck. I think it's somebody that I know. Or it's one of you guys. Because if I'm, if I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, I have subscribers that have taken my fist traps when I've set up fist traps. Okay, so I wouldn't be completely surprised who snuck. I have, I like, I have this footage you guys are gonna see. Sorry, it's, I'm a mess. It's 7 a.m. It's kind of raining on me right now, but and I'm panicking, and my phone just cracked. I just dropped my phone. Then it cracked. And nobody in my neighborhood has a security camera, except for me in my backyard. And this security camera really should be over by my pond to make sure people don't try and like bleach my pond because that happens to YouTubers apparently. And people also try and steal YouTubers fish. But I have a security camera on my back porch and we can, we can take a look at it real quick. I'm sitting out here with my computer and my camera in the rain. It's literally rain. Here we go. See this? After scrolling about through nine hours of security footage, all you have to do is scroll through really fast, and if you see something big and unusual, you stop, right? Yeah, and watch them walk back by. Here's a full video. Somebody came into my backyard and took my duck. Not, not Brownie, just Penelope, because Brownie's still here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of break down this morning. I didn't like start bawling, but I was fairly upset. Now, here's why I'm not panicking right now. One, because now I have the police involved. And two, because I this had to be, buddy, if, if you're watching and you took my duck, one, I'm not, if you give it back, I won't be mad at you. Okay? So if you can give my duck back, I won't be mad at you, but two, I wouldn't be surprised, I mean, this could be one of my friends trying to pull a prank on me. Like me and Nick almost pulled a prank on Paul trying to steal Thump, his big bass. Like stuff like that happens. But I mean, you might as well also look at it as somebody could legitimately come in my backyard and take Penelope. Because whoever this was, dressed in full camo. If they were pulling a prank, that's what you would have done, right? I don't, I don't know. So here's Brownie. He's been having like a panic attack. Because like I said, they have separation anxiety and he's been looking everywhere for Penelope. And this is what I did this morning. I thought she wasn't out here, so I opened this, and there's no duck in here. So I started to freak out. But I'm about to sit down and call every single person in my contact list, because that's the best I can do right now, I think. So we're gonna give it a go. What is it? We're gonna have to lift the rock up. Oh my God. That is huge. That is huge. I got it, I got it. Oh my gosh, it's a frog. Well, there it is. And back in he goes. So uh, that is the the random frog. Where'd he go? He's right here. It's actually a pretty nice frog. It doesn't really try and get away that much, but you know, yeah, I just saw it moving around and there it is in the pond. It just I never put it in here. It just happened to show up. So like I said in the last video, I, I knew there was something in here. All right, the red tail is getting a new home. So that's about a six inch red tail. In a few months, that red tail will be almost, probably about a foot, maybe even bigger. 
they grow at a rapid rate and why not put him in here when I already have bass that are smaller than him and everything's doing great. He can get fed just as much as all the other fish when I throw a tilapia in here and he's gonna get huge. And his growth should go a little bit faster because smaller things like this stunt fish's growth rates. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna be like really a noticeable difference, but it should be better for the fish. But yeah, he is in the net. Now these water temperatures are the same because uh, obviously they're both outside, so we're good. He doesn't need to acclimate. All right, big guy. There you go. And he's off into his new home. You can see him, he's noticeable. Not as noticeable on camera, but very noticeable to me. He's got some places to hide, but why we're here. I'm gonna go cut up some tilapia so I can throw it in here for all the other fish right now. And yes, our rescue koi is still doing fantastic. He's under there right now. Okay, um, we're just gonna kind of Throw food in, piece by piece. Bluegill start eating, bass are eating. We gotta get some over to the gar. Oh, the gar's gonna eat, the gar's gonna eat. Come on. All right, yeah, everything is gonna kinda just start munching, and uh, yeah, good to go. The duckies. Ooh, the duckies are, why Why brownie get inside of that? Why do, you, why do you do that? They're doing great, their food is actually inside over there, but top, I mean, they are doing wonderful in this, so. I'm super glad I got it. If you didn't watch the last video, I suggest you go check it out, because that's when we built that thing. Exotic Aquatics. It rhymes. Or does that rhyme? Does that take the, does Exotic Aquatics rhyme? Aquatic, I guess. Yeah, because Aquatic and Exotic rhyme. I don't know. <laughs> the last syllable. This is what I want. In like, the, as the main tank in the fish room, this is something like the size that I want. Bunch of cichlids. Cichlids on cichlids. Ooh, really pretty cichlid back there. Would you look at that guy? Yeah, just a whole wall of cichlids. See, I want one of those. It's a really pretty butterfly boy. Yeah, I definitely need to get one of those at one point. Big old garami. Angelfish back up in there. Discus. These are really hard to take care of. I'm surprised they have a betta fish in here. But discus and betta fish. Bunch of discus. Feeder fish, goldfish, mollies, guppies, platies, glowfish. I thought those were red tails. Well, they're, I mean, it is a catfish. Oh, they got puffers in here? It says pu Oh, they do have a puffer back there. It looks like a. Uh, is this brackish water puffers? Yes, sir. The older they get, the more, the more salt they need in their water. They're not they're full fresh right now. Okay. They look good. That's cool. Hey, that's some of those. Yeah. yeah. Look at that silver arowana. That's cool. I just actually had one of those, but I gave it away. Yeah. Um, because I'm getting another one just way bigger. There's no point of having two. Just a like run or like overview type thing of just another exotic aquatic aquarium. Hello? Peyton. Brenton. Did you steal my duck? Your duck? Yeah, my duck. Are you serious? Yeah, I've got security camera footage of it. Nate, what? did you steal my duck? No, I just knew your duck. Somebody broke it. Somebody broke in my yard last night and stole my duck. Yeah, you did take that somebody. Here, one second. I'm calling my whole contact list. Let me call somebody. One, one second. Hey, Mark, did you steal my duck? What? Did you steal my duck? Yeah. You did? No. What? Wait, so, wait is, is Brownie gone? No, Penelope is gone. Like somebody took it or like somebody, somebody came into my yard last night and took her. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Are you calling about your duck? Yeah, I totally saw it on like next door. Did uh, you post on next door about it? I don't have that. Maybe it was Facebook. I don't have Facebook. It was totally on Instagram. I saw it. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I haven't posted anything about my ducks. Well, what's going on with your duck? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm home. Can, can I come by real quick? Okay. All right. I'll see you in a minute. No way. No way. Shut up. Shut up. I got that on video. I have been filming for 23 minutes. I'm getting a call back from somebody else I had a missed call from. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no... Did you... Did you... Get, please replay that clip. Are you calling about your duck? Before I could even say anything, he goes, are you calling about your duck? Yeah, there's no way. He has to have a Penelope. He didn't say ducks. He said duck. Only one duck is missing. That man has to have my duck. And the craziest part about it is he lives a quarter mile from me. <laughs> 